Okay, guys, I'm here today for riding. Huge honor for me. And uh, guys, today Rai is gonna teach us here a sequence that he used when he started rolling on the knees. That he goes to a wrist lock. Then when I defend the wrist, not when I defend the wrist lock. When I roll, he goes to a kimura, and then from the kimura he's gonna go to something else. So it's very very cool. And uh, I love how you kind of mix like what you're learning on Aikido with Jiu Jitsu. And uh, I think this move is gonna show a little bit of that, right? It, it will. And um, you shouldn't overestimate or like underestimate any kind of wrist lock because things that people aren't used to defending are much more easier to access. Got it. So uh, people typically think, I, I usually hit this from the knees. Yep. And, you know, people are thinking about like knee taps or maybe some other kind of bold action to tip the other guy over. But no one really sweats if I, if I just float down on this wrist too much because, you know, I have head control and, and we're involved in a grappling situation. So this is not really a high alert. But when I break away, bring it out at a 45 degree angle and then reinforce with my other palm, I tip him down. Now, some people actually tap right here. They're not sure what to do. Yep, yep. But, uh, you know, in a really good athlete, they'll roll out of it intuitively. They roll out, boom. And as he rolls, I switch to a Kimura immediately. I wanna tuck that behind his back before he can, before he can um, grab his belt, right? So let's just take a look at that again. That connection from, one, from the wrist lock to the Kimura, I go out, and then before he can grab, I transition right, into uh, uh, a figure four position and take the Kimura. And of course you can, you can finish, you can do like a pressure Kimura here, be able to lift it. Many kinds of Kimuras you can do there. Uh, but again, like a really good athlete, they will roll up boom, and then I'm into a rear naked choke. And then you can finish it like this and in any of the various ways you can finish a rear naked choke. So it's all about flowing. You know, it's good to have the option of a wrist lock but you can't just know the wrist lock. I agree. I that, agree. Is, that is not going to work. You're always going to have the next step. Next <laughs> the step, next, next step. step, yeah. Hopefully you finish with the first one, but if you don't, then you have the second one, you have the third one, you have the fourth one. And then exactly. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, so that kind of deep knowledge. Also, just one note, if, if they're expecting, if they have like a real hard wrist, like you're, not, you're never going to, you're never going to be able to break that, right? You're never going to get that to bend. So you have, it has to be like soft and unexpected. Have to be up here, soft on the hand. Ooh, take him over. Oh, then we have our Kimura. Ooh, and then we're into a, our rear naked choke. Oh, that's incredible. And uh, I mean, like, this reminds me almost like a little bit of Aikido, right? Oh, for how, definitely. How, do, how sometimes are you able to transition from like Aikido knowledge to Jiu Jitsu knowledge? Like, th does that happen? Like, this is an example of how? Yeah, it, it does. So there are, uh, Aikido is a form of Jiu Jitsu, but in many ways they've exaggerated the, mo the, the smaller movements of Jiu Jitsu into big movements Good. so that people can blend more easily with it. Good. And they really understand, you know, they get to feel the leverage. Good. But, you know, a jiu-jitsu person against another jiu-jitsu person, those windows of opportunity are very small. Got it. So you can, you can use the same techniques, you just have to modify the timing. Got it. And really be sensitive to like when that opening is. Got it. No, that's incredible. Yeah, so guys, Rai is one of the, uh, the instructors that articulate the techniques, the best I've ever seen. So we have a bunch of instructions with him at bjjfanatics.com. So make sure to check that out. And thanks so much, Rai. Appreciate right. it. It's my pleasure. Thank you. Please help me out to grow my YouTube channel. Just click subscribe. And to watch more videos, just click under see more videos. I hope you enjoyed. BJJFanatics.com. Use the promo code YouTubeFaria to get 10% off any instructional video. Improve your jujitsu faster.